monotone a continuing sound especially of a person's voice that is unchanging in pitch and without intonation now i don't have a crazy story for the first time i heard lucky's music shit it was pretty much on accident i was listening to playboy cardi snippets you know unreleased 2018 you know when he was in his artistic prime sort of speak and i was on the perfect plug channel and all of a sudden a song came on by this nigga named lucky i didn't know who he was i never heard of him before but the song's name was starstruck <laughs> Immediately, I was like, bro, this is one of the greatest songs I've ever heard in my life. Because it pretty much captured how I was feeling at that time. I was a junior going into my senior year of high school, and I was nervous, but I was excited. But at the same time, I had to keep calm because, shit, you have no other choice. Either keep calm or you're going to fucking drive yourself crazy. It ended up being the best summer of my life. I really didn't have to worry about anything. I got accepted into all of the colleges that I applied to. All I had to do was just play basketball, play 2K or, you know, Fortnite with my homeboys and just relax. But as the school year began, uh, I started listening to that song less and less. And I don't know why, but I never really got into more of his music. You see, later that summer, doo Kane would drop his masterpiece, Underdog. And that very next month, Chippy Red would drop his masterpiece, Life's a Trip. So those two albums literally dominated my ears for the entirety of that summer going into that fall. Now, fast forward to February 2019. Uh, my final basketball season just ended. Uh, school is starting to wind down and college is getting closer and closer and closer and closer. I was real anxious, man. I was real anxious, and I knew one song could help me out, so I started listening to Starstruck again, and then I was wondering, like, what else has this nigga made? Like, I, like this song is amazing, but, like, what else has this nigga made? So I searched his name, Lucky, L-U-C-K-I, and the first thing that pops up on his YouTube channel is his new mixtape, Free Wave 3, so I look at the album cover. That shit's kind of fire. Like, that shit's hard. And then I listened to the album. And boy, can I tell you something? I know a majority of you who are watching this video, if anybody is watching this video, I know a majority of you use social media, most likely. So, I know you guys have heard the saying, oh, men find their favorite rap artists or favorite music artists and let them shape their whole personality but the thing about it is before 2020 i had never heard him speak i had never seen a you know interview i never even followed him on social media like i listened to him one time in 2018 for about two three months and then stopped and then just heard an album it's crazy how from that point on that the body of work shaped who I am. Does that make sense? Not his personality, right? You know, I, I bet he's a cool guy outside of the music and shit, but you know, we see artists like Tyler the Creator, Kanye West, Playboy Cardi, NBA Youngboy shape young men's personalities with their personalities, not just their music. But if you ask me who I was in 2019 to going on 2020, just play Free Wave 3. You know what I'm saying? Just play Free Wave 3. And I'm not trying to make this video to, you know, like dick ride or anything like that. That's not the type of person I am. You know what I mean, I am not a stand in any, you know what I'm saying, stretch of the imagination. I leave that to folks, you know what I mean, like NBA Youngboy fans, Kanye fans, Playboy Cardi fans, yeet, all them. And nothing against you, all power to you, brother. You know what I mean? Those artists might have, you know, saved your life. But it's 2019, I'm having girl troubles. Feels like I'm moving way too fast for my own good. Free Wave 3 really helped slow me down. I'm not gonna lie. And I could go hours upon 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 
hours talking about how good this album is going through every song politics out my way of course you won't believe the hype geek monster glory boy all in 3d outro 2012 summer all of these songs peach dream like his most popular song you know what i'm saying like this it it's an amazing album but in my opinion there's only one song that sits high above the rest of his songs. Even Starstruck, the song that I fell in love with that made me listen to his music. This is one of the greatest songs I think I've ever heard in my life. I take that back. This is the greatest song I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> Now, I have never been in a race car. My friends drive pretty fast. My parents drive pretty fast. My brother drives pretty fast. I barely pass the speed limit. I barely get to the speed limit. I'm a real safe driver. But more than ever is, 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 the, is the song equivalent of being in a race car. But the race car is a rocket ship. And the rocket ship is in space, but you're also in Daytona 500 going 500 miles per hour. It's an experience. Like, if you've never heard this song, bro, you got to go listen to it. Chase the Money gives us one of the greatest beats ever created in human history. And it sounds like I'm fanboying right now, bro. It's because I am. I'm not going to lie. This shit is crazy. I, I can't explain I can't explain how good this song is. I, how do I put it into words? I'm not a music major, man. So the best way I can explain how good this song is, is like this, okay? The beat is amazing. Uh, it, the song is fast paced. Like it, it does not slow down for a second. It's fast paced for the whole entire Hold on, how long is this song? For the whole entire two minute, 40 seconds, it's fast paced. It goes and goes and goes and goes. Like I said, it's like you're in the Daytona 500 in a race car, but it's a spaceship and you're in space. You know what I'm saying? You're going 5,000 miles per hour the whole time without stopping. It's like a roller coaster. It's like a roller coaster. That like one of those roller coasters that just jolts to a stop. It doesn't slow down. It just jolts to a stop. That's how this song is. It is amazing, bro. And the best part about this song, and it's the best part about this album, and it's probably the best part other than his beat selection about Lucky's whole flow. He uses this monotone ass voice. Like he's talking. He's not rapping. Like he he's talking like this. Dad's boy, big screen, like a sports bar. Like he's talking. He isn't rapping. He's he's talking on the mic. And, and, and it is awesome, bro. One of the best flows in hip hop, bro. I rival that shit with anybody, bro. That shit's amazing. It is dope. I don't know what this video was, man. Uh, I really just felt like making a video talking about this album and talking about Lucky in general. Maybe I will start a series talking about the albums I listen to to help me, you know, throughout my life. Maybe I'll talk about Underdog next and then I'll talk about uh, some rap songs by Earl Sweatshirt, you know. Maybe I'll talk about Dirty Sprite 2 and, and shit like that, bro. It, 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 music is awesome and, and I appreciate it so much that I can talk about artists like this for hours and hours and hours and hours. But I'm only going to give you like nine minutes. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you're new, man, like, comment, subscribe to the kid. Join the family. If you enjoy these type of videos, I'll make some more of them. If you, even if you hate them, I'll probably make another one like tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, my name is Michael Clark. I am Milk. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.